Hey folks, today we're going to be getting Crisis, the original Crisis from 2007, to run on Windows 10. Now if you've tried to download it from Steam and you've hit play, you're probably going to be met with something along these lines. A little bit of a wait, followed by a black screen, and then it kicking you back out to the desktop. It's obviously not ideal, and considering many of us are now running graphics cards that well surpass the minimum requirements for Crisis, it's a shame that so little people are actually getting to play this game in 2018. So what we're going to do here is use Crisis Warhead, the expansion pack to Crisis, and tweak the bin folder a bit to allow it to run on Windows 10. What we need to do is go into Crisis Warhead in your Steam common folder and first of all delete the bin32 file. I'm just going to copy this to desktop here for future reference but you're safe enough to delete it. Then on the bin64 file you need to rename that as bin32. Into our renamed bin32 folder and the first thing we need to do is to delete the original crisis executable and then rename the crisis64 executable to crisis. Once that's been completed we need to copy this bin32 folder in the crisis warhead folder across to the original crisis folder replacing all the files in the bin32 folder that exists. A simple right click, paste and replace should do the job here. Now going back into Crisis into the Steam menu and click and play, you should no longer be greeted with a stall in black screen. Instead the game will actually boot up, but we're not quite done yet. There does seem to be a few options missing when trying to run Crisis on a newer system. For example in here, the game resolution, the video mode, it only goes up to a maximum of 1680 by 1050. Now we're running on a 2560 by 1080 ultrawide monitor here and the resolution is nowhere to be seen. So in order to fix this, we need to do some config file tweaking. Heading into the My Games folder in your documents, you should find a file called Crisis and in here there'll be a config file simply called Game. If we open that up for editing, we're looking for two values here, r underscore height and r underscore width. And you simply want to amend these values in here to suit your monitor. So we're going to change this to r height of 1080 and an r width of 2560. You can also tweak numerous other settings here. And it's always a good idea after you've finished tweaking the config file to set it as read only. This simply stops the game adjusting any of your settings and will save some headaches down the line. Now jumping back into Crisis, you can see that it's running perfectly fine at 2560 by 1080. Into the Advanced tab and you can see we've set everything to very high. And while I would love to tell you that that's all you need to do, there are one or two little things you need to do before starting. When you start a new game, and this is only when you start a new game, you are going to be met with a black screen. But this can be quickly overcome by simply hitting the tilde key and jumping into the console menu. Here we want to type con underscore restricted space zero followed by map space island. This loads up the first level of the game and once you've hit a quick save point and you reload the game you're never going to have to do this again. This is only ever in the first instance of playing. And here we go, everything seems to be running pretty smoothly and it's going to be a case of basically getting onto that island and hitting the first quick save point and from then on in you can simply load the game as you would normally do. So that's it for this, it's a really simple and easy fix for any Windows 10 PC try to run Crisis. And as long as you've got Crisis Warhead, which costs under £10 on Steam at the time I write in this video, you can easily get the game running on your latest and greatest machine. And it won't be long before you're looking over the beautiful 11 year old now Vistas. So I hope some of you have found this useful. There's a few little hurdles to get over but it's nothing too complicated. And once you've done it once, you'll never have to do it again. Unless of course you delete the game and reinstall it. You could always save that bin folder on a USB stick and that should save you having to do any of this ever again. 
But that's it for me folks, thanks for taking a look at this video on how to run Crisis on Windows 10, and I hope some of you find it useful. I've just finished moving house, so I'll be back very soon with more used GPU reviews, once I get everything set up here. But thanks again for watching folks, and I'll see you all in the comment section down below, and in the next video.